Hey Dons. Dons, I'm Emma. And I'm Max. And welcome back to CCTV. We had so much fun seeing you all at homecoming last weekend. This year has been flying by and we are already closing out our first quarter. Be sure to check in with your teachers and be mindful of your grades before next Friday, October 7th when the quarter ends. Clubs week is coming up and starts this Monday, October 3rd. It is one of the most fun weeks of the year, so let's go to Lila to learn more. Hey Dons, next week is club week. Let's go talk to Mrs. Rhodes and some other teachers to see what's up. Club week is really exciting, you guys. We are gonna be out next week, Monday through Friday. We're gonna have between 20 to 25 tables out in the quad. And then we're also gonna be set up the following Tuesday. Check the directory, the map of where the clubs are each day so you can find which clubs you're excited about. Get in line, head up and meet the leaders and get your name on their Google form so they can contact you and get you information about the club. Where do we find that form? We will post in Schoology the map and the directory and then um, at the end of this week and then we'll also have a directory table out so kind of the very first thing you'll see is a, a directory table with ASB members that have the map and the list of where everybody's located each day. All right thank you so much. Numbers and Neighbors is a club where we tutor K-8 through students in math and we help them succeed in the subjects that they're struggling with. We make math fun one student at a time. It's a wonderful club started two years ago and we help younger kids not be afraid and start to love math. The Music Enthusiast Club is very aptly named. I've had the opportunity to, to facilitate many clubs at Cathedral and these guys are just so passionate about music and it's probably one of the best clubs I've ever seen on this campus. So if you like music, come check it out. Okay, Senior Golden, what's the main idea of your club? Well, the Dungeons and Dragons role-playing club is a club where the two main things, you get together with friends and you have fun. We pretty much come together and play games. There are over 100 new clubs this year. Make sure to check them out in the courtyard. Now back to Emma and Max. Thanks, Lila. If you are interested in applying for Science National Honor Society, the deadline for applications is October 7th. Check your Schoology page for requirements in the application link. Our very own alumni, Ava Thoresen, made her debut on The Voice on Monday. She joined Team Camilla and made it to the next round of competition. Don't miss the rest of her journey on the show while she competes each week. Let's talk to Ava to hear more about her experience on The Voice. Hey Dons, it's Brooke and I'm here with former CCTV member and Dons alum, Ava Thurston. As many of us know that she auditioned for The Voice this past Monday, I'm here with her to talk with her a little bit more about it. How did you first get into your music career? Oh man, I have been singing for a really long time. I really started thinking about it seriously though, um, kind of during quarantine. I had a lot of downtime. I picked up my old guitar. I started writing songs. It just kind of gave me that freedom to just pick up music again. Can you tell us a little bit about the process to audition? Yeah, actually um, my mom sent me the link. I was doing college applications, literally. It was kind of like this Zoom, I don't know, it was very pixelated, you know, very low key. Did not think anything of it. And then um, a month later, I got a call back. So I got a call back in December. And then I heard in February that I was going to be on the blinds. So you did pick Camilla to be your coach. Well, yeah. Can you tell us what she's like? Yes, oh my goodness. Camilla is amazing. All of the coaches are amazing. They look like just these perfect beings standing in front of you. Camila Cabello has been the best coach. I mean, she is just perfect for me. So honestly, it was, it was a pretty easy pick. After the show, do you know how you're gonna further your music career? I am really excited excited for, you know, I get to release my own music because that's just kind of what who I am as an artist. I write songs all the time. I have so much to say. So I am really excited. Do you have any advice for kids that maybe want to start their music career? Yeah, I definitely felt the pressure of, you know, I have to establish myself as a singer. You know, I have to post all these covers. I have to do all these things. I would just say don't put that pressure on yourself. Music is for enjoyment and I used it as like almost a form of therapy. Well, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it and good luck. Thank you for having me. Ava, we are cheering you on from home. Tonight is the last night to see the drama's production of Lost Girl. It's at 7 p.m. at the Poway Performing Arts Center. Don't miss out on this fantastic show. This is your last chance. Starting as soon as we get our ID cards, you will only be able to buy food using your ID. They'll be scanning your barcode at the line instead of asking for your number. Be sure to bring your ID with you when you go to the lunch line or they will refuse to serve you. Fall sports are killing it and Sporty Pat is about to give us a rundown. Let's cut to sports to learn more.
What's up, Dons, and welcome back to CCTV Sports. The boys' football team took a dub versus Steel Canyon 35-3 and is playing a big game tonight versus Lincoln High School at Mira Mesa High. The boys' water polo team is 4-2 and recently took an L against Huntington Beach, but is looking to bounce back against La Jolla High School on Saturday. The boys' and girls' cross-country team competed at the Ted Woodbridge Sweepstakes Race, which is the best race in the nation with teams competing all across the country, with both teams doing a great job, and they have their league meet coming up soon. Let's hear more about the team with Kristen. What's good, Dons? It's Kristen, and I'm here with the captains of the cross-country team. Elaine Hobro. Kira. Madeline Bassanet. Can you tell us how you managed to be a student athlete and keep up with all your tasks, and how has this helped you grow as a person? Or like, I'll try to like do as much as I can at school so they don't have to like, because I still want to go to bed early and like do all that kind of stuff when I get home. So I definitely try to like do all that, a lot of stuff at school. And also procrastinating, not procrastinating is a like big thing I try not to do. And then it helps me grow because it, it really teaches me time management a lot of the time. Can you walk us through what an average day of practice looks like for the team? Yeah, so we basically have a long run day, a normal run day, and two workouts a week depending on when we have a race. Um, so we will do hills, we'll do tempos on the track or sometimes outside of school. Um, and we have a certain mileage that we have to get every week. So every practice is a little bit different, but we have weekly schedules that we follow. Cross country is a big mental sport. How do you normally help keep the team motivated? Uh, I generally try and keep the team motivated by keeping them on the main goal, which is state. I always tell them if they're having a hard day, just focus on the main goal and uh, appreciate your team and work for your team when you're having a hard day. And if you have a bad race, it's not really a big deal because everyone has bad races and you can always push forward and do better. <laughs> Thank you cross country captains, back to the studio. The girls volleyball team is so far 25-0 and, and still remains the best team in the country. They recently took a dub versus Scripps Ranch and is playing Patrick Henry on Tuesday at home. The girls golf team is so far 6-3 and, and played Patrick Henry in OLP this week. The girls tennis team is 9-0, recently coming off a dub versus Scripps Ranch. They're currently ranked third in the state and played Point Loma in Patrick Henry next week. Good luck, ladies. Thanks for tuning in with Dawn Sports, and I'll see you next week. What's up, Dawn's? It's Skylar, back with Social. We love seeing all of your amazing outfits at Homecoming, and this week we're playing Name That Tune. Can you guess the song? Love Story by Taylor Swift. Pursuit of Happiness. By Kate Cuddy. Rich Minion. <laughs> Great job, Dons. We love jamming with you. Now, on to the anchors. We are looking forward to seeing you tonight at the football game against Lincoln at 7. The game is at Mira Mesa High School and the theme is jerseys. Show up for our Dons and cheer loud as they take on the number two ranked team in San Diego. Thank you for watching and we will see you next week on CCTV. <clears throat> ah. Very own alumni, Ava Thoresic. I thought I was saying that. <laughs> to look at you. I am looking. I looked at you when I was talking you the first like time.